Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with construction planning and scheduling in the topic of critical path method. So we know the critical path, uh, so the network path containing the maximum duration is critical path and uh, the duration is called uh, uh, project duration. So now the activities is given, then precedent relationship is given, then duration also given. Okay, so the activities A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J is given. So then corresponding uh, precedent activity is also given. So for example, take a E. So E activity should be start after the completion of A and F activities. So for the, taking as G activity, so sorry, J activity. So J, J activity will start after the completion of G activity. Okay, so likewise the precedent relationship is given. So then the corresponding duration also given. So the A activity activity having the duration of two days then B activity having the duration of two days likewise every activity having the own duration okay so we have to find out the critical path and duration then EST that is early start time then early finish time latest start time and latest finish time so the what is the earlier we can start the activity and how earlier we can finish the activity is called EST and EFT then latest so how we can delay so how many days we can delay the uh, starting of the activity and finishing of the activity so these are the things we have to find out so first thing is we have to draw the network path after that we can uh, identify different path available in the network so then we can finalize the critical path okay so now we can take uh, so for a activity b and c d activity so the both four activities don't have any precedent relationship okay so now we can draw like this so this is A activity. So there is no precedent activity is there. So then here is B activity. Okay. So next thing is C activity. So C activity also don't have any precedent relationship and D activity. So here is the D activity. Okay, so next thing is we can draw the E activity. So A and F activity is the precedent activity. So first thing is we can draw the F activity. So for F activity, B is the precedent activity. So now we can draw like this. So this is F activity. Okay, so uh, the for E activity, A and F is the precedent activity. So now we can draw. this is e activity okay so next thing is uh, f activity we already done so then g activity so g activity c d e is the precedent relationship so e and uh, c e and d is the precedent activity so now uh, we can see h activity only d and g is the precedent activity so now we cannot uh, draw like this okay so e activity we cannot join e activity to the c activity because the e activity alone the precedent of i activity okay so now uh, we cannot uh, merge the activities because e activity is alone the precedent activity of i okay so now uh, we can uh, introduce the dummy activities okay so here we can draw the dummy activities for c okay so then now we can draw the dummy activities here okay so now we can draw the g activity okay so here the g activity is there so g activity okay so next thing is uh, we can take the h activity h activity the precedent is d and g okay so now so here is a d activity and here is a g activity so now we can draw h activity here is the h activity okay so then i activity so the uh, precedent is only e okay so now we can draw like this So now we can draw like this. So this is J activity. Okay. So we have to close the loop. Okay. So the, we have to close the network. So we can introduce the dummy activity over here. Okay. So now 
we can finish the activity okay so now we can write the corresponding duration so for a 2 is the duration for b also 2 is the duration for f activity 4 is the duration for e activity 3 is the duration for c 4 and for d is 8 is duration so then dummy activities don't have any duration we can put 0 then for i activity 7 days then j activity 6 days then h activity is 2 days then g activity having 3 days okay so now we can the starting point is here this is start and here is end okay so now we can uh, draw the network path okay so now we can draw a e i okay so the corresponding duration 2 plus 3 plus 7 that is equal to 12 is the duration okay so next thing is a then E, then G, then J. Okay, so here we can take A, then E, so then G, then J. Okay, so here 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 6. Okay, so now uh, 6, 6, 12 plus 12, 12 plus 2 is 14. Okay, so next thing is B, F, then e then i okay so here b f e i okay so b is 2 plus 4 is 6 6 plus 3 is 9 9 plus 7 is 16 so here the 16 is the duration okay so next thing is b f e g j b f G J so B F E G J so here 2 plus 3 sorry 2 plus 4 6 6 plus 3 is 9 9 plus 3 is 12 12 plus 6 is 18 so here is 18 so another one is A E G H okay so A E G H A E G H so here 2 plus 3 plus 3 that is uh, 8 plus 2 is 10. Okay. So next thing is B F E G H. Okay. B F G H. B F G H. So B is 2 plus F is uh, 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. 12 plus 2 is 14. Okay, 14 days. So next thing is C, G, J. C, G, J. So 4 plus 3, 7. 7 plus 6, 13. Okay, next thing is C, G, H. Okay, C, G, H that is 4 plus C, G, H that is 4 plus 3, 7 plus 2, 9. Okay, next thing is D, then G, J. D, G, J. So that is 8 plus 3. That is 11. 11 plus 6, 17. So next thing is D, G, H. D, G, H. So 8 plus 3, 11. 11 plus 2, 13. So here the maximum duration is 18. Okay. So the uh, path containing the maximum duration is B, F, E, G, J. So here we can draw double line B, F, E, so then G, J. So here G, G, then J. This is the critical path. Okay. So the critical duration is 18. So now we can find out the EST, EFT, LST and LFT of the particular activity. So now we can put plus marks. Here we can take EST. Here we can take EFT. Here LST and here LFT. Okay. So now we can take plus mark in all the activities. Okay, so now we can take here is 0. So 0 plus 2 is 2. 
okay so after that the for the precedent activity so the eft of uh, previous activity is the est of succeeding activity so but we have to take the maximum value okay so if case we going forward direction we can take the maximum value if case we can come uh, reverse direction we can take the minimum value okay so now we can take here is 2 here is 0 here 2 here is 0 and 4 here is 0 then 8 also here also 0 and 8 sorry here is 8 and 8 okay so 8 plus 0 8 so now we can take for e activity so the b also the precedent activity so here we can take the 2 plus here is 4 so 2 plus 4 is 6 okay so for e activity there is two precedent activity one is here is 2 here is 6 so we have to take the maximum value so now we can take the 6 over here so 6 plus 3 is 9 okay so here we can take the 9 so 9 plus 0 9 okay so now uh, for g activity so there is a three preceder activity one is 9 here is 4 here is 8 okay so here is 9 here is 4 and here is 8 so we have to take the maximum value so now we can take the 9 over here 9 plus 3 is 12 okay so here we can take the 12 here also we can take the 12 so here we can take 12 plus 2 is 14 so here we can take the 14 so here is 0 so 14 plus 14 is 14 14 plus 0 is 14 so now in here 12 plus 6 is 18 okay so now here we can take the 9 so 9 plus 7 is 16 okay so it's like a est and eft is completed so now we can take the lst and lft so the uh, last option is here is 18 here also 18 here also we can take 18 so 18 minus 7 is 11 here we can minus the value so here 18 minus 0 is 18 here we can take the 18 18 minus 2 is 16 here 18 minus 6 is 12 okay so here for g activity there is two succeeding activities there so one is 12 one is 16 so we have to take the minimum value when backward direction so now here we can take the 12 so 12 minus 3 is 9 so here also we can put 9 here also we can put 9 here also we can put 9 so 9 minus 0 9 here 9 minus 4 5 okay here uh, here we can take the 9 minus 0 9 so here we can take the here is 11 is there here is 9 is there so now we can take the value of minimum value 9 9 minus 3 that is 6 okay so here we can take the 6 here also we can take the 6 6 minus 2 4 here 6 minus 4 is 2 here we can take the 2 2 minus 2 0 okay so here is 9 9 minus 8 is 1 okay so here we all uh, found out the est lst lft lst okay so this is notice that uh, the path containing the critical path there is a no difference between est eft lst lft so that denotes that there is no early start time and there is no later finish time or later start time okay in critical path if there is any delay so the total duration will be affected okay so this is the method we can solve the problem again we will see next video thank you